Welcome back to week 47 of my Paragon Top 5 Plays. If you have any awesome clips, be sure to send them to www.paragooners.com for a chance to win a prize. A link is in the description below. Han Buan and Kuang and his allies have secured the All Prime and are trying to close out the game. Kuang also has the purple buff to surprise the enemy, unfortunately they lose Sparrow almost instantly to the enemy counters. Kuang however lands a 5 man tether, ulting immediately to kill Decker and counters followed by Murdoch and Belika. Grox manages to charge away but the damage is done as they head straight for the core and the victory. Faye might be considered useless by a lot of people but her ultimate can definitely be a game changer if comboed correctly and that is exactly what the Faye and her allies do as she lands a huge 4 man ultimate followed up by a knock up and void bomb by Bellica along with the lore from Murdoch and Grok's ultimate leaving only Howitzer to defend the inhibitors. It's just one of those games where you have to take charge and if you want anything done well then you've got to do it yourself as the fun projector on Sparrow does exactly that as she fires a piercing arrow right into the orb prime which helps take out counters. She then pops a hail of arrows to steal the orb and then her ultimate to obliterate the enemy Sparrow. The enemy rampage is caught out in the middle lane and even his ultimate isn't enough to save him from the insane damage of Sparrow. With three enemies down Sparrow and rampage have grabbed the stealth buff and are plotting to kill Feng Mao as soon as he leaves the safety of his tower. He is cautious at first as he heads out to clear the minions and then suddenly a rampage rock stuns him with the onslaught continuing Sparrow fires shot after shot. He reaping dashes away as Sparrow fails to land the killing blow but it eventually comes leaving Gideon alone to defend the inhibitor. He makes a valiant effort as he teleports into his black hole but the rampage rock is there to stun him and again Sparrow's damage leaves him no chance of escaping. Our fairy, also known as Pookie Face on Countess, makes a rotation to help her ally who's been caught out by the river buff. With the help of a sparrow, she secures two kills by shadow slipping to Richter and following up with her blade siphon. She gets knocked up and then takes a void bomb to the face before using her ultimate and feasts on the blood of Sparrow. A dark tide is enough to secure the kill with Necroville sending her to the shadow plane, the enemy team struggle to kill her. One final shadow slip to Kwang, a blade siphon and a dark tide are enough to delete the last two enemies, earning Pookie Face her first pentakill. I've seen some fantastic saves from Muriel throughout the series but none quite like this. Muriel saves Sparrow from a Gideon black hole as they retreat to the tower. But what happens next is what amazes me. Muriel is ready with a consecrated shield just waiting and waiting and I wasn't really sure for what. Then randomly decides to shield Sparrow and not a second later a long arm of the law comes from across the map right onto Sparrow. I swear this Muriel must have spidey senses. This was a tough week to judge but that Muriel play for me was just insane so congratulations to Oro212 for winning this week's Paragon Top 5 plays. The bonus clip comes from Zack Gun with a cheeky Orb Prime steal. He uses Aurora's Glacial Charge to climb the back of the Orb Prime pit. Waiting for the perfect time he drops down and uses his Hawfrost to steal the Orb Prime from right under the enemy's noses. I hope you enjoyed this week's Paragon Top 5 Plays. If you did, smash that thumbs up button. Be sure to send your clips to www.paragooners.com for a chance to feature in the series and win a skin code. Subscribe to stay up to date with the series and I'll see you guys soon.